Hey up everyone, it's Farmer Dave from Cannonall Farm. Now we've got a llama that is giving birth at the moment. So we're gonna go up, have a little look and see how she's getting on. Right, mum's gone down, uh, she's pushing away. Uh, the crea seems to be in the sack. Um, yeah, we can see the water sack coming out. When that bursts, hopefully that crea is gonna come out. Llamas tend to be no problem at all. They just uh, give birth nice and easy. Uh, there has been the odd occasion with alpacas as well where the head's twisted back and we've had to actually deliver it. Um, I'm hoping we won't have to do anything like that. Hopefully it's straightforward. Well look at that, uh, she's nearly there now. She just has to get that past the shoulders and that little crea will be good. I can see its head moving. Oh, it's coming out. One more push, go on. Come on, girl. There we are. She's at it. I can see it moving. She's all right. We'll get a little bit closer. We don't want to spook mum. We want her to get that bond. So hopefully, we're going to leave her to it. But let's get just have a quick look. I can see the little crea shaking its head. It's doing okay. Dad's come over to see what all the fuss is about. But mum's done a great job. She's just got to pass the placenta now and then uh, we're good but the i wonder if it's a boy or a girl i haven't brought my glasses you'll have to look down just going to go over check its airways are clear and then i'll come back with some spray spray its navel and uh, the job's finished good girl good girl good girl good girl whoa, 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 whoa. good girl good girl They always look a little bit worse for wear, but I've cleared the membrane from its nose and I can see there's a little bit of fluid there on its nostrils, so I'm just going to clear its nostrils. Come on. You see all that? All that liquid came out of its nose. It's obviously got a, a little bit there, but it, if you get it clear, it should be fine. Its head's up now. Let's just see if it's a male or a female. in me here okay <laughs> i'd rather have that than a load of spit now i think it's a boy to be honest uh, it could be a girl i'm not gonna look because i'm gonna get spat at so i'm gonna leave it and i'm gonna find out tomorrow but well done mum great job The baby careers always look a little bit in distress when they're born. They've got long legs, a long neck, and it takes a while to get that coordination together. Now, uh, the mum has given birth outside, which is great because there's less chance of infection from the bedding, um, and you've got a good sturdy grip when the little is trying to stand up. That ain't gonna happen for another 40 minutes, but we're gonna keep a close eye on it, and hopefully all's gonna be well. If there's any problems we'll take both of them inside and get them in a nice clean pen well i've got to say that was a real treat watching a baby career being born out in the field that doesn't happen very often so i feel really privileged um, we're going to keep a close eye on this career so watch out for the next update and have a good day everybody bye bye could call him dave what do you think well i've had a look i'm pretty sure it's a boy does he, do you think he looks like a Dave? What do you think, Mum? Should we call him Dave? I think that's a yes. <laughs>